Well, we got to know Stefan Radzinski during the Edmonton Indy last summer. The local driver raced in the Indy Late Series, but we hadn't seen him since. So, John Sexsmith tracked him down to find out what's new. Stefan Radzinski might not be the biggest man on campus, but the 18-year-old is definitely the fastest. Radzinski's in his second year of business at Grant McEwen University, and he's among the best in his class on the Skip Barber Summer Series. So I won a full season scholarship to run in that series, and, and it's going well. I think I'm in the top five in the points, and I'm heading to my last race weekend this weekend. Between studies in the series, Radzinski has been doing quite the balancing act. You might say he's a distracted driver. Very busy, that's for sure. That's the one word I'd use to describe it because at this point in the season, I'm enjoying my academics, uh, obviously finishing my racing season, but uh, I think the most important thing right now for me is planning my 2012. And Radzinski believes his business knowledge could help pave the way for a successful season next year. I think uh, that's the reason I'm in business, honestly. Uh, I've always been interested in it, obviously with my racing. I've been pursuing sponsors since I was 13, 14 years old. Maybe I didn't have much of an idea what I was doing then, but I'm, I've uh, gained some experience through what I've done already and, and obviously trying to use school to supplement that. 2011, meanwhile, has been a dream year for Radzinski. The local kid made his Indy Lights debut at the Edmonton Indy. I learned a lot, and, and if I go back, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't change a thing. And despite the massive jump from the Skip Barber series to the Indy Lights, Radzinski still managed to finish in the top 10. The car went from 140 horsepower to the Indy Lights car, which was 450 horsepower. A lot of torque, uh, big slicks, which I'd never driven on, uh, wings and downforce, and, and a much heavier car. So overall, it was just a, a huge jump for me, but I, I really learned a lot. So regardless of what road Radzinski eventually takes, he seems poised for a prosperous start. You have to be, you have to be confident in what you're doing and, and really you have to have a dream. And you have, it's also have to have goals that are realistic and, and you try and attain those goals. John Sexsmith, Global Sports. Radzinski stands fifth as he enters the Skip Barber Series, season-ending race this weekend in Connecticut. Well, we wish him all the best. No Very kidding, cool yeah. cars. Maybe, uh, you know, down the road, we'll yeah. see him uh, hey. on the podium here. Wouldn't that be nice, that Andy or something? Be, be great. Uh, high school football is in full swing, Gord. Yep. Dean Millard, you saw him earlier down.